Let's talk anxiety. I'm sure you've heard the word anxiety from a friend or a family member. Many times this term is used very loosely. However, anxiety is a medical diagnosis and it could be very real for some people. Society has created a stigma around mental health disorders and has made it very difficult for some people to seek help. First, let me explain that anxiety is the natural reaction of the body to stress. We all have felt it during a presentation, when studying, when a cop stops us for running a red light. So what makes it an actual diagnosis? Well, when your anxiety is constant and chronic and causes significant distress affecting your personal and social life. Some signs and symptoms include, but are not limited to, neck tension, shortness of breath, heart palpitation, weakness in legs, sleep problems, dizziness, and chest pain. There are many ways to cope and manage anxiety. Here are four ways to do so. Number one, breathe. Sounds easy, but is one of the best things you can do when you start to feel anxious. Try the four, seven, eight breathing technique. It can be very effective. Breathe in for four seconds, hold your breath for seven seconds, exhale slowly for eight seconds. Repeat until you feel calm. Number two, name your feelings. Acknowledging that you're feeling anxious sounds simple, but in the moment, well, let's just say your brain is racing 100 miles an hour and you are not this rational person thinking things through, right? Well, make sure to stop what you are doing, name your feeling, and use a calming technique that works for you. Number three, run and exercise. A quick run around the treadmill can increase concentrations of norepinephrine, allowing your brain to cope with stress. So whether you run for five minutes or 30, you are helping your body to fight anxiety in a natural way. Exercise also helps with your sleep. It increases productivity and produces a calmer state of mind in general. Number four, consider therapy. And I say this in all my videos. A good therapist will provide important tools to help you regulate your emotions and cope with your anxiety. Don't be afraid to seek professional help when in doubt. Thank you for watching. Please don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know how you manage your own anxiety. And don't forget to subscribe.